Hello and welcome to this week's Seconds Out. Hope you've had a good week. My guest this week, uh, one is a regular because he's been uh, working as a uh, reporter for the show, Mr Steve Bellos Bell. How are you, Steve? How are you, fella? How OK, are you? thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, Mr Matthew Hatton. Matthew. I was trying to think of a nice uh, sort of posh intro there and then I thought I'll only get mixed up, so... No, I'm not needed. I'm, uh, I'm good, thanks, pal. Thanks for coming in. No, no problem. Bellos? I think you better change... It's about time you change the old handshake stuff. You know, do a bit of the boxing, the touch and twist. I do, but you know when you go to the gym and you say see you to people and, and they've got the gloves off and you go like that and there's a bit of an awkward thing, you ever yeah. do that? <laughs> you don't know whether to shake or to show me some fist. There's <laughs> a bit of touch into us. Yeah, you know what I mean. So how, how are you lads? I'm good, thanks. You know, uh, just in training at the moment, looking forward to my me, me next fight on the 28th of March. Mm. We're hoping to uh, come down and film that one. Cause, yeah, uh, yeah. So you know what we're like, we're trying to get in everywhere. We filmed, I think you were one of the first fights and seconds out. Unfortunately, you got disqualified for headbutting people. Oh, I forgot all about that. Uh, one. Alan Bosworth, that do you one. remember? No, can't recall that. Do you not one. remember that? No, no I don't do things like that. You know that. Bad, <laughs> I was there that night. You was you was winning the fight as well. Well, yeah, you were winning just comfortably. Yeah, it was mm. just one of them things. One of them so. things you learn from. But you know, it's an exclusive for seconds out at the time. Had you have won that, it would have been boring. Everyone would have forgotten it. That's it. That's it. Bellos, you're fighting soon, aren't you? I'm fight. Yeah, just before Matthew on the 14th of March at the yeah. MEN on uh, Canberra Bill. Good bill. That is a good bill. Mm, great bill to be on, so I'll be in Barrera's dressing room. And uh, we saw a couple of weeks ago on the show, you're getting your new gum shield. Are you going to be wearing that? I am. I've got a nice pink one there, yeah, with yeah. my name on. So it's not going to be chucked into the crowd like his brother does. <laughs> so, yeah. it, might, it might be knocked into the crowd. They're too expensive. Well, it'll still have a set of teeth in it, won't it, <laughs> if he does that. Now, Belos, you've only, uh, you've only lost one. I have, yeah. So, no, no, I don't mean to sound surprised, but, you know, 19 fights, 16, five knockouts, so it's a good record, is it? Yeah, the, the one that I lost was the English title uh, against Femi Tola, which was, uh, for me, probably, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was the hardest fight in my career, but one that I thought I was going to win. Mm. Um, it was, well, I, I probably took him a little bit lightly, actually, Femi Tola. I thought I'd have the beating of him, <coughs> uh, and I think the worst thing I could have done was put him down in the first round, because mm. I think he got a little bit giddy and... And put a bit too much into the fight in the first five rounds. So, but even still, I thought I'd with a knockdown. I thought I'd won by at least a round. At the at the worst, a, a draw. But um, the referee's seen it different. Femi Tola, where's he from? He's from Pankops. Bradford. <laughs> is it? Yeah, is I, it thought, I thought that was one of them things that you, <clears throat> you know when you're pulling out a raffle ticket. That's a tomboy. That's a tomboy. Yeah. It sounds absolutely <laughs> nothing like Femi Tola. That. <laughs> Matthew, uh, you were on the show last season, weren't you? I was. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I've been on. Uh, been on most seasons actually. You have, yeah, you and, and Ricky has as well. A little hint there for him to, uh, we're running out of episodes. But um, tell us what you've been up to in the last 12 months, it's been about a year since we've, since we've seen you. Yeah, just been, uh, you know, fighting regularly, you know, we had a little bit of a, a disappointment at the City of Manchester Stadium, you know, where mm. I, was, uh, I was beaten by Craig Watson, yeah. you know, it was, um, that was a pathetic performance <coughs> from myself really, you know, I'd be the first to admit it. But, you know, since then, you know, I've, I've, I've left Billy, you know, I've changed trainer, and uh, it's the best thing I've ever done, really. I wish mm. I'd have done it. I wish I'd have done it a long time ago, really, to be honest. But you know, better late than never. I've had two good wins since my last win against Ben, ben Taki, mm. You know, former world title challenger. You know, it was by far the, the best performance in my career. And um, you know, I'm a totally different fighter now. Mm. You know, um, Lee spending a lot of time with me, a lot of effort, and that's something my career sadly lacked. You know, over the over recent years, I've been mm. I've been pretty much training myself, really. So. Uh, yeah, things are, things are going well at the minute. We're going to be hearing from Lee later on in the show because um, he's an interesting lad. He's very knowledgeable as well for a young, a young man, isn't he? He is. You know, when I left Billy and I went with Lee, you know, people were like, you know, who's, who's Lee Beard? But Lee's been, you know, he's, um, he's worked in America. He's worked with Freddie Roach, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Mm. And although he doesn't have the, um, the experience of other, other top trainers, you know, he's certainly got the knowledge. You know, he's very keen and he's doing a fantastic job training me and also Ricky, you know, mm. Ricky's been very impressed with Lee and Ricky does a lot of his, his early weeks with Lee, so uh, I think Lee's definitely a trainer for the future, he's, he's a good trainer already. Yeah. Now to fight Taki, especially after, you know, you got beat by Craig, it was going to be tough mentally to come into that fight, wasn't it? What, it was a big gamble, that. It was a gamble, but you know, I've had, uh, I've had 40 fights now and with such a disappointing performance against Watson, you know, I felt I needed a, a big name, you know, to re-establish myself. Yeah. I was offered other fights, you know, against lesser lesser name opponents, you know, an easier night, but uh, Ben Taki's name come up and I thought this will, you know, uh, put yeah. me back in back in the position where I, where I was before the Watson fight. Um, mm. 
So uh, it was a gamble, but I've always got confidence in my ability. You know, if, if the training goes yeah. well, if the preparation's there, I'm confident I can beat anyone. Now, I'm not normally uh, negative, but I remember thinking, has he not read his brother's book? <laughs> he said it's like hitting a brick wall. <laughs> he is. He's got a, he's got a very hard head. He's a, he's a tough guy. You know, you'd need a, you'd need a baseball bat to, <laughs> to stop Ben Saki. But um, it should have been my, my hardest fight on paper. But you know, I made it very easy. You know, yeah. it was practically a shutout really, and that's yeah. uh, that's filled me with a lot of confidence. And, you, and Steve, he's never been knocked out himself. He's, he's a tough on himself, isn't he? To, uh, to get down on the canvas, old Matthew here. It is, yeah, without a doubt. Uh, I mean, I've done a few rounds with, with Matthew in the past. I felt a bit sorry for Matthew, really, in the past, because he's, he's always been in Rick's shadow. But um, only lately he's been, you know, he, he's doing the, mm. the biz himself and he's, and he's making himself, uh, you, know, you know, get a good name yeah. um, with beating these like, the likes of Taki and beating them well. And that yeah. was a, a fantastic performance against Taki, I must say. Yeah. I mean, I, I really did think Ben Taki would give Matthew a bit of problem, but... He, he schooled him. That's what, that's wrong. What I know all doubting Thomas is on the internet as well. He proved them wrong. Right, lads, I know you two lads are looking to go into, uh, into training and, and coaching in the future. So take a look at these young fellas. It's the school boys from Bolton a few weeks ago. <laughs> Heffron family there, lads. You know, you'll know um, Tommy, won't you? Yeah, I know Tommy's dad, uh, Mark Heffron, good little fighter uh, yeah. from Manchester, and his brother as well, Ronnie, who comes in our gym. Yeah. Uh, great sparring. He's, he's been down sparring with the likes of myself and Crawler and, uh, and Frankie Gavin, and he, he's one to look forward to, uh, look for for the future as well. It's um, weird how um, brothers all seem to be good at fighting. You know, like there's yourself mm. and uh, Ricky. There's, you know, we've had the, the Murray brothers on the show. You've got the Smith brothers, uh, there's yeah, three the of them now. Well, there's four, four fighters in the family, but there's, there's three that are pros now in the Smith brothers. There's a, few, there's a few going about at the moment, isn't there? Mm. There's another set of Gallagher's. I mean, that was a great little fight there. You know, um, a lot of people calling amateur boxing at the minute, you know, the computer scoring system, but that was like two pros going at it there. You know, yeah. that was a right good tear-up, so, uh, yeah, it looked good. Belos, you, um, we were talking about where Matthew's training now. You're, you're at Arnie's, if it, no one doesn't... I'm sure they already know already, don't they? Mm. Get mentioned on there all the time. Arnie's now, don't they? I've been to a couple of gyms. I was uh, training with Matthew uh, under Billy Graham for a while. 
uh, and then moved to Arnie a few years back um, and stayed with uh, with Frank Warren. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a great little camp there. Uh, we've got um, Frankie Gavin there now, who you've you seen a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Who's an absolute loon, but he fits in the gym really well. Yeah. Um, I'm not uh, scared of him telling that as well. No, you're not scared of him. I mean, he's a, I'm quite impressed by him, actually, I mean, because uh, I like to be a bit technical myself, and he's probably the most technical, technically sound fighter I've seen in a yeah. long, long while. Um, his, his brain, his ability, and his confidence in the game is, is fantastic. And just to, you know, he's not, he's not even had a fight yet, pro fighter. But Keep his mouth shut, he'd be a good fighter, Steve. Oof. Oh, hey. he will. He will be On that good. note, let's take a short break. I'll be back with the two boys in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Seconds Out. This week's my guests are Mr Matthew Hatton, the welterweight, and Steve Bellos, who is uh, now a featherweight. You're not super feather anymore. Got a few no, I've come on. down to my natural weight. I'm, I'm the daddy. I've always been the daddy at featherweight Yeah. in the amateur game. So... Um, as a pro, I sort of when I first started out, I was I was making nine, nine four, nine five. You know, you're putting weight on. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I was making it comfortably, so I, I put myself as a super feather. But I always said for a, a big title, I'd, I'd get down to featherweight quite easy and back down to my natural weight. Yeah, you are lucky though, Steve. You, you never really put any weight on, do you? No, not really. I mean, I, I don't I don't drink a lot. Uh, obviously, I don't smoke, and I don't really eat a lot. Uh, to be honest, I mean, you know, I'm always in training. I'm always keeping myself fit. So. I probably walk around about nine seven anyway, nine eight, which yeah. is you know it's good for me. It always works for me. Yeah, gives me that a uh, little bit extra. You must be buzzing though. Um, you've been on some some good bills in the past, haven't you? Because uh, you, again, you're with Frank Warren, aren't you? Mm. But to get on this this Khan bill as well is going to be good. It's quite exciting, isn't it? A brilliant bill for me to be on. I mean, I'd have, I'd have gone to it anyway, obviously just to watch you know the Khan Barrera fight. Mm. Uh, I think you know Khan's got a, a a good fight there in Barrera. I think he can. Uh, he can beat can him. Can he do it, yeah? He, he really can beat him. Uh, it's, a, it's a big move for Khan and, and obviously a good move. Because it's a brave one, isn't it? it well, it is, yeah, because if he does beat him, then uh, you know, he puts himself right up there. So, mm. you know, take me out of to him for taking the fight. Matt, do you reckon he can do it? I definitely think he can do it. I think it's, uh, you know, one thing about Frank, Frank Warren and in Sports Network, mm. that, you know, they pick some great fights for the fighters. Mm. And I think it's the perfect fight at the perfect time for Amir Khan. You know, it's a very big test. Mm. Again, you know, a gamble. But uh, I see Khan winning this, you know, coming through a few sticky patches, but winning uh, comfortable on, on, on points. I think it's an absolute perfect fight for him. But mm. well, we know what Steve's doing next. What fights lined up for you next? I'm fighting on the 28th of March in Altrincham uh, at the Leisure Centre. It's, uh, it's a final eliminator for the IBO world title. Mm. I'm fighting Ted Bammy, who's the uh, who's former European champion, you know, uh, a very good fighter. So we're uh, training very hard for that, that mm. one at the minute. And... Uh, I'm looking forward, you know, the, the way I'm looking at it in two fights time, I can be a world champion, so uh, the motivation's definitely there. Who are you fighting? Bam Bam Bammy? <laughs> Ted Bundy. Ooh, you can bang him. <laughs> Ted we were Bundy. talking about him, actually, with, uh, I was talking to him, Dave Barnes last night about him. Mm. Uh, would you go and spar people like Barnes now to help you, you know, prepare for someone who's already beat him? Or? Uh, well, Barnes is a southpaw, but we'll, we'll be, uh, me and Lee will be talking, looking at um, fighters, you know, similar in stature, you know, same sort of style, and... Uh, We'll be uh, be choosing some sparring partners over the next week or so and, and try and get them. Mm. And you're fighting that John Simpson, aren't you? Yeah, well, the fight's... Oh, Simo? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, watch the his fight's... Uh, Your kids aren't going, are they? <laughs> no, they'll, they'll, be, they'll, be, they'll be in bed. Watch. I'll no. speak to them about four days after yeah, he's going to come best. out of hospital. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, the fight's... It's not been confirmed yet um, on paper, but, yeah, it's, mm. uh, it's hopefully it's a, a done deal. You know, things can go wrong, but yeah. that's that's a fight I'm training for, and that's a fight I've wanted, that's what I've asked for. Yeah. Um, a, a big fight, and, and, and that's what they've got me. So, yeah, it's a bit for the Commonwealth it's title. It's experience, so it's going to be a tough one, isn't it? And oh yeah, you? it'll be me. It'll be my toughest fight to date, yeah. Mm. And, and that's what I've been training for for the past, you know, twenty so years of boxing. Mm. This is this is what I've uh, this is what I wanted, and uh, and I've got it finally. Is it disappointing, lads? Because you, you've both been on big bills, but you know, not top of the bill. Is it disappointing sometimes to be on one of these big bills and not everyone's in the seat? Would you rather that than be top of the bill on a smaller venue? I think, um, yeah, especially now, you know, both me and Belly have had a few fights, you know, and I think both me, both me and Steve have been ready for big opportunities for quite some time now, and it mm. does get frustrating, you know, when these fights don't happen. But um, as for the Simpson fight for Belly, you know, that's going to be a great fight, and I think style-wise, John will, John will suit Belly, mm. you know, uh, it's going to be a very tough fight, but I'm not just saying it, you know, because he's here and he's, he's my friend, uh, I'd pick Belly to win that one, definitely. Mm. I'm not sure, I can see him getting beat. 
Uh, I'm always honest on the show. Well, one of them's going to win, isn't it? Yeah. There's no doubt about that. I think the, the one that hits... Unless him, it's a draw. The one that hits, yeah. him, <laughs> one that hits you one the most times in the face, I think will probably win. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my advice mm. would be to try and hit him hard and, and don't get hit. But, um, you know, I'm no trainer. And, but and a man who is a trainer, Bellos, as we were chatting, Good a man. seamless link there, is uh, Mr Lee Beard. We were chatting about him earlier on. We've seen you a lot on Seconds Out, but it's the first time uh, our viewers have got to talk to you. You're always in the, in the Hatton camp, aren't you? I am, yeah. I've uh, been in the camp for a couple of years now, but... Um, more of a main role in the last year, uh, so it's been, been everything's been really good. Um, tell us a bit about Matthew. Then he's, he's the guest this week. He's um, he's in good shape after his last fight. He, he looked brilliant, didn't he? Yeah, he was awesome uh, in the gym and the build-up. We was obviously when we were told Ben Taki was going to be the, the opponent. It's obvious what you've got to do with Ben Taki. You know, not get involved into a fight because that's what he tries to lure you into, uh, which is you know t- tailor-made for his own style. Um, but Matthew had the style, um, he, he, likes, he prefers someone coming towards him, so when we were going through names, um, you know, it's, uh, that was a name that I was thinking about. Taki, style-wise, I thought it would suit Matthew. Taki didn't give Matthew any problems at all after the fight, he, you know, he didn't have a mark on him, and he, I don't think he could believe how, how well he boxed, and I think if he can build on that momentum from there now, you know, I, I do think Matthew's definitely capable of like, uh, beating Kel Brook, you know, the British title, I've seen Kel Brook fight a few times, He's a good fighter, but I, I think Matthew's got the tools to beat him. I really do. You know, I think it'd be a good fight um, for the British public as well. You know, Matthew's a big name. Um, you know, he's fighting Ted Barn in his next fight. Obviously, he needs to get through that. You know, but that's the fight that um, you know, would excite Matthew. Would be a shot at Kelbrook. Don't you, Matthew, get in the gym in May? Is it the new gym? That's right. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, the gym will be open May June. You know, uh, in High Town Centre. You know, it's going to be a big leisure centre. Obviously, you know the. The, f- the boxing facilities are going to be uh, second to none, so yeah, looking forward to that. I've seen it in the paper where all the scaffolding fell down, is it all okay now? Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't running past it at the time, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's all been sorted now, I, uh, I drove past it and uh, I think my dad nearly had a heart attack because uh, uh, there was a brand new jag underneath all the scaffolding, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it was... Uh, it was bad, actually. I've always yeah. said that Craven scaffolding is no good. <laughs> <laughs> is that one of your sponsors? No. <laughs> That's who did the scaffolding one. That's it, yeah, Dermot. Dermot. He's, uh, he's a good friend of mine. But, uh, Clocked off early some Friday yeah. afternoon, didn't they? <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> Don't worry about tightening up them bolts, we'll be all right. If I Put need, your stuff away, lads. <laughs> if I need some scaffolding doing for my house, I might mislay his number. Yeah. <laughs> Bellos, um, you're an actor as well as a boxer. Am I? Are you? Actor? Oof, actor, Oof, what? Are you sure? Hello. <laughs> I own it. <laughs> You've been in loads, haven't you? I've been in all the soaps. Got, bats, yeah. what's, what's coming up? Anything we can... I've just, I've just finished doing um, a little uh, cameo on uh, on the street, uh, Jim McGovern's The Street, which mm. is a, the third series. Um... Uh, yeah, no, was... I've been in it, yeah. Oh, you've been in yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Cut all got yours caught, out, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, got caught, yeah. yeah. It was terrible, good, yeah. was it, yeah. But, it's a good but uh, they might cut mine, yeah. You don't mm. know how good I was. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, I think Anna Phil was in the one that I was in, which was uh, which was a big bonus. Yeah. Uh, to have a look at her. Every... Were you playing a, a lover, or...? I wasn't, no, I, I won't tell you what I was playing, because you, you'd be able to watch it when you... Scaffold you know, it. it's on. Yeah. <laughs> and when, yeah. when will that be on? Uh, later this year, I think, sometimes. Uh, but, like I say, I've, uh, it was a... A little, a little, only a week's uh, week's work. So yeah. um, now I'm back into the boxing and get that on my mind now. And once I've done, done a that. bit of acting as well, haven't you, Matt? Yeah, I've done a little life on Mars. Little cameo, yeah. Billy uh, Billy Graham wrote me and Matthew Macklin t- into that. You know, there was uh, three days filming, and I think my uh, right arse cheat was on for about oh, nice ten seconds, something like that. So yeah, yeah. it's uh, that's a bonus, that. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Isn't it? So uh, stick it on your CV, all kinds. That's it. Yeah, Fespian. Yeah. I had both my arse cheeks shown when I did the film about ten years ago, yeah, but I don't like talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, we caught up with one of your mates, Spellos. I don't know if you've seen this from a few few weeks back when you were England captain that you always seem to drop in every time you come on the show. Did I tell you I was England you captain? You did tell him you were yeah? England captain, yeah. yeah. This is uh, Carl Froch talking, we were chatting about you. I know you're mates with uh, a friend of mine, Steve Bell. Yeah. We're just trying to play some hot does he bat for the other team or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was at his wedding. So oh, definitely not. <laughs> I think it's from both ways every now and again, but them days are finished, so... Hey, I was on the England squad with him, yeah. shared a room with him, trained with him as a... You were brave. He's a good man, he is. He's yeah. a cracking bloke, so I've got nothing bad to say against him. <laughs> Did you see that when it went out? 
I did, yeah, I did. He's a good lad, Carl. He's he a good lad. Fantastic fighter and deserves everything he's got and hopefully he might go on to uh, you know win bigger and better things. And I was doing my best to get him to like, you know, slag each other off and all they do is no, he's yeah, a, he's a great lad. Yeah, no, he's uh, he did he come he come down to a wedding, Carl. He came down the night before and stayed with us with a few other boxers, stayed at my house while the missus went and stayed with her mum and dad. Um, and I said to all the lads, like, we had uh, David Dolan there who, who fought the other night. Um, and Dave's a big lad, and I had a double bed, obviously. And I said, Dave, I said, if you want to get him my double bed, you know, he's, you know the, you're the biggest lad, he, there's a double bed there with me. Next thing, Carl Frotch come up, and he was sat here and he got in bed with me, so I, I've actually slept with Carl Frotch. Ah, oh, brilliant. He did try it on, and th <laughs> there was something there, I think, but he, he just never phoned me after that. <laughs> <laughs> he never phones, he never calls. He's it with these sportsmen. Yeah. Good fighter, good though, isn't he, Matt? Very good fighter, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Uh, World champion, you know, his, uh, his last fight was fantastic, mm. you know, uh, and I think he proved all his doubters uh, wrong there. And I, I think he'll, you know, now Kawasaki's out of the way, I think he'll, uh, he'll clear the super middleweight division up. Great fighter. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. We're running out of time, but Kawasaki's retired. It's good time for him as well, unbeaten, isn't it? I think it's perfect time, you know, he's, he's nothing, nothing else to prove, and, you know, what better to, uh, to go out on top undefeated? Mm. There's no one out there for him to fight, you know. Uh, People were talking about Chad Dawson and things like that. He's beaten better fighters yeah. than Chad Dawson, you know. So what's the what's the point in in risking his, his legacy? You know, he's yeah. retiring at the top undefeated. He can't beat that. But just before you go, before we do the pads, um, Mike Jennings, Cotto. We're not talked about that one. Can Mike do it? I think Michael's got a, a good chance. Um, you know, he's, he's a big underdog, but uh, mm. I, I definitely think he's uh, he's got a chance of winning that fight, and uh, I wish him well. Yeah, it'd be great. That'd be great for him. Well, that's what it? boxing's all about. Isn't it? The big thing of, of Costa, if it, if he goes into the fight thinking you know it's an easy fight, then he'll come and stop because Jennings can fight. Can he? Right, Bellos. The last time you were on, you upset all the crew because you nearly broke the microphone messing I do, about. I do apologise. So uh, one it. punch. I have, I've sent the check in the post. <laughs> yeah, one punch. One punch only, lad. Well, uh, should we let Matthew go first? Yeah. Me first, out. yeah. You don't have to go overboard now. He's broke the mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Just try and uh, just stick it in your pocket for now. Right, come on then. At least it's not going to go flying now. <laughs> oh. I like the run up. He's done the double. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's good. That's the double. <clears throat> right, Bellos. <clears throat> your only chance to hit me. <laughs> Any amateurs watching now, just take notice. Yeah. Snarling punch. Snarling punch. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, you know, your base apart so you can roll a ball in the Yeah, middle. where you can get a kick if you do hit me in the head now by accident. Stay where you're not at. Your light. What are you moving back for? Because you're going to hit me. I'm going to hit your come pad. On. What have you got new pads for? VIP. <laughs> Look at us sponsored by VIP. <laughs> you just said it twice. Watch this. Go on. That was awful. That was awful. Technique. I, I was going for the technique. Matthew. Good luck in your fight. Thank you. um, let's hope you do two fights in and you'll be world champion. Twist. British champion. Some sort of champion. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week on Seconds Out. Take care. Have a good week. See you soon.